Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create project and how to manage your project. So once you log into Scratch website, um, let's go to my stuff. And I already created a project, but let's uh, first we uh, we are going to show you uh, three ways to you can create project. So if you go, if you are on the Scratch web, uh, the front page, you can see a link here, create. So you click on that create link and it will create a project. And you can see it's untitled. So let's name um, uh, Dancing Cat. And we already have that project. So I'm going to say Dan Dancing Cat 2. Uh, and you just click outside of that and let's go back to our stuff see here dancing cat 2 project created now the second way to create project is here is a link new project so let's click on that and you can see another project got created um, we're gonna name is name the same way dancing cat 3 uh, click somewhere outside and it will be saved let's go back dancing cat 3 now there is a third way to create a project let's say if you are working on, on some project and you don't like something or you know so you can go to file you can click new and it created a new project and you can the same thing so we're gonna say dancing cat 4 clicks somewhere outside and it will be saved let's go back to our stuff here dancing cat 4 okay so we we know now how to create a project uh, there are three different ways okay now let's see if you want to work on some project um, you can and you are on the home page for example so you can just go to your click on your username my stuff you are here now you can select any project and let's say I selected this project and you click on see inside to work on this project and then of course you can work on this project you can start you know moving uh, start using all these different kinds of blocks to create your project okay so that's one more thing and then now let's say let's go back to our uh, list of projects and we're gonna see how do we how can we re okay let's uh, first what we can do how can we rename um, the project so let's say if I if I want to rename this guy dancing cat 2 so I'm gonna click here okay now that one uh, just click on see inside and you can rename this project from here so let's say I said uh, uh, walking horse right so let's change this horse uh, I'm gonna just put horse here uh, let's put horse right um, okay so this is a horse project so I renamed it right walking horse and you just click outside and let's go back to my stuff you can see now walking horse so you just rename the project so now let's say this walking horse project uh, when I click on it and this is where all um, all the people uh, in our community can see this project but right now you can see on the top this project it's not shared so only so only you can see it click share to let everyone see it. so let's share this project so it will be shared with all the people okay so let's click on this and now say oh, congratulations on sharing your project other people can now try it out give comments and remix it and we'll see what remix is remix is that if anybody is looking at your project they can remix and they can modify 
uh, they can make a copy of your project and they they can start modifying your project uh, either they will fix the bug either they enhance your project they add more stuff to your project but they are not in fact uh, uh, modifying your own project they are modifying the copy of your project okay so let's uh, okay so now we share your project um, and let's say if you decide to unshare this project right uh, let's say you want to make more modification to your project and if you want to unshare your project so let's go back to your my stuff and every project so these three projects are not shared but this walking horse project are shared so you can see a link here unshared right so let's click on it and it will be unshared right okay so now if you could click back that particular project you can see on the top it's not being shared now um, okay so let's go back here okay now nah, let's go back I want to show you something um, and okay this is let's uh, look at this one so this checkbox is case draft so let's say you are working on a project and you mark this as a draft that means uh, you're still working on its project so now if, if you click here if you go back to this project again you can see work in progress so this tag will be added automatically work in progress so that's I mean the community knows that you're working on this project and it's still in progress um, okay so let's just uncheck this for now um, let's go back here okay so let's say you have this four project and let's say now you decided to delete one project right so let's delete this project okay so it now it this project will be moved into your trash can right so now from the trash can you can of course you can also put it back and now that project again came on the top so let's say I'm gonna delete again go back to trash and now let's say you decided to completely clean your trash can so let's go and click on empty trash now uh, this is just for security purpose um, they ask you to enter your password just to make sure that you want to permanently delete this project so yes I do and submit password and it will be permanently delete you cannot retrieve that particular project again so just be a little careful here okay let's go back to all projects so we now know how to delete uh, and permanently delete a project so let's go back and look at uh, my uh, the, the actual screen uh, where the project so after you share this project with community um, they can start this project and if you have a game they will start playing the game uh, here you can uh, make a uh, screen bigger uh, let's minimize this uh, so this is start of the project this is a stop of the project um, they can go inside your script right so they, they can go and inside your script and, and they can see your code and which blocks you are using how you are making this horse run or any other game basically right so it, it allows you to it allows anybody to see your code I mean that's the main purpose of scratch to share uh, and collaborate with each other okay so let's go back okay so now here of course you can put instructions let's say if it is a game you can put some instruction how to play a game um, and let's say if this if uh, more than one people worked on this project so you can make some notes you can give credit to um, whoever worked on this project and let's say if you um, uh, if you're using uh, image or uh, if you're yeah, or, or or let's say if you're using image animation uh, video uh, sound uh, from third party uh, website you can give them a credit as well uh, it's, that's very very important uh, you always give credit to uh, 
uh, the source where you are getting image or sound uh, from um, okay so now let's see if I if I am let, let's share this project first I want to show you something here um, so now this project is being shared with community um, now if if just assume that I'm um, looking at your project I can make um, your project favorite I can like your project um, see add project to studios uh, this is embed that means if I own my uh, website I can embed your uh, project to my website let's say if you have a game then I want to add your game to my website right so people my visitors of my website can play your game so this is a very cool feature here um, this tells you total view so how many people viewed your project um, view the remix tree so let's say this one let's say if 10 people like your project and they remix your project so that means they are making copy of your project and they somehow somewhat they enhance your project that means you have um, you have 10 copies of your project or 10 people worked on it and they created a different version of your project and uh, so you can check all this um, uh, so you can you, you can see the entire tree of your project basically who modified it enhance it and etc okay so now let's say if I like your project then say okay well um, your, your project is awesome I'm posting in the comments um, you can reply back saying thanks um, and po okay so what say uh, seems like you're commenting really quickly okay so they are this is just for security purpose you cannot comment you have to wait for certain minutes to really comment so let's yeah they don't allow you to do it now okay so that's fine but yeah you got my point here now if you are a user and if somehow so if you made a mistake you can always go and delete your comment as well okay now let's go back to my stuff um, so let's see we covered shared projects unshared projects so let's see how many are unshared there are two unshared one is already shared um, we will go to the studio in a next video um, you can unshare this you can right away you can see how many views how many likes how many comments so we just made a one comment so it says one comment uh, we like your project so yeah there is a one one more view uh, let's see and uh, okay so let's go back inside uh, okay inside the code okay um, so I think uh, yeah, pretty much it I think we covered everything here um, in the next tutorial we are definitely gonna go to the new studio and how to manage your studio um, so yeah um, so uh, yeah please try it out create new projects um, um, rename your project share with people unshare uh, take a, you know delete your project delete completely just try a couple of things out um, you know you have to practice so um, yeah and uh, thanks for watching and yeah see you in the next video thank you